this hill's coming up. It's pretty greasy. Just heading down Harold Creek Road. The snow has melted quite a bit since the last time I've been out. However, that's going to change because next week we got like up to 50 centimeters of snow coming in. All that's going to change. So that's why I'm hoping to uh, find a decent spot to camp tonight. Definitely been a strange spring so far. As soon as we cross this Texas gate. And now we are in Crown Land. The Ghost PL Luz. Right there. I was using Onyx Maps at first, but then I realized I forgot to download the maps. It's a purely internet connected where I use Avenza Maps. I download the trail maps for the area so I know where I'm going regardless if I have internet connection or not. I don't know where this road goes. It doesn't go too far, so I'm just gonna take a gander down and have a look. Almost at the end of the road now. It doesn't look like there's anything too exciting here. Most likely a gas lease road or something. So, we're gonna be coming up to the Forestry Trunk Road, which is the number 40 right away. And I think this time around, we're gonna go south. Definitely. We're gonna go south towards Cochran. I've already been north a couple times and uh, we're gonna go down south. Wipers Valley Road turn off. I camped here a few times. Well, I camped here before in the trees though, but the snow's pretty deep. Try to get back in there, start to spin out, and don't really want to get myself in a situation. There's some wood here that I poached. I don't know, I might try to venture out again, find a spot to camp. Kind of interesting this guy with this electric Rivian I guess is what it is, is he followed me in because he thought maybe I was exploring some trails but no I'm heading out camping so I said told him whereabouts he should go and you know be careful because you don't have any winch no recovery points no nothing so don't get lost so what I'm doing is I brought gum boots but I don't want to wear them so I'm just shoveling myself little trails that's frozen in the water so that'll be a good log for splitting wood found the fire pit right over here it is bright out today this is my camp spot it's Sunday, so hopefully I shouldn't see any traffic. Came down here. Actually, the main trail's just right up over there, but right beside the creek here. And there's a piece of wood on the ground there. Like I said, I shoveled myself a little path because I don't want to get my gumboots out. So there's one log in the fire pit. That's what I picked up from the other campsite and those four planks. So that's some extra wood. Plus, over here, we got a bunch of wood in there. So technically, 
I probably won't even use any of my wood at all. I've never camped down this section before. I don't know why I haven't. I'm definitely going to be checking it out a lot more often, but first things first, need to set up camp. It's gonna be 17 degrees today. That's why I'm wearing shorts. Bra pair of sweats, thicker jacket for the nighttime, but right now, she's good. Right now, inside my Jeep, I'm gonna start stripping her down and getting her set up. I'm sort of set up right now. I'm just gonna shut my passenger door. I don't really need to open anymore. So I got the diesel here set up. And in my window, I just added a piece of that felt that goes in that way. It's not like hard rubbing on the window. Exhaust is pointing away from the Jeep. Also brought a carbon monoxide detector. This is my campsite set up. Gonna chop some wood. And like I said, there's stuff inside the Jeep. The wood that I brought, that I'm probably not gonna use. And then my sleeping arrangements inside. So it's my Darchi minus 12 sleeping bag. I got an inflatable pillow. Got my tablet set up to watch some movies later. Like I said, I flipped the cooler so I can get stuff in and out without having to open up that door. Once it comes summertime, that won't be a problem because I won't need the heater. But this is it, in a nutshell. And this is where the tailgate table comes in handy. And this is my Plano case I got from Cabela's on sale. And I got my things in there. I'm gonna start making something to eat. All right, I'm gonna put some garden hose water in there. That's all of us kids lived in the 80s, drinking out of a garden hose. God forbid, if you do it now. Get some farmer sausage right here. She lights up quick. This is the first time using the fire maple stove in the wild. Gonna take that off, set it on the snow. exciting but it is what it is not gonna lie I'm gonna be pretty excited to be sleeping in a Jeep tonight to try it out because if it doesn't work out if I don't like it I just did a lot of work for nothing so hopefully that's not gonna be the case what is though the setup is awesome tailgate table I just threw the Smokies in the snow for right now keep them cool because I'm gonna be using them later on so I should chop up some wood Couple new toys we're gonna try out. I just got this. Am I gonna be a bushcraft knife? If you recognize the symbol, I bought it from a Finnish army surplus store when I ordered some goods. This Bubercraft has been my go-to one for a while. And recently at Cabela's, I got the Fisker's axes. But I also picked up this Gerber bushcraft ax that we should try it out and see how it's gonna be. How all these boards split? Yeah, I say they split nice. Nice and dry, these are gonna burn good. There we go. 
split this bad boy up. Big boy, I don't know if it's gonna split. Gonna open up a can of worms here. See if I get this thing to split. Can you hear that? It's going. Perfect. This thing is. Even with the splitting axe, it's like it's waterlogged or something. Man, that's why they try to burn it like that in the fire. All right, looks like they tried to burn this one too. And it's definitely the same as the other ones. I think I might just use splitting axe. All right, tried and true, Fisker splitting axe. See that, I feel that already. Feel that? Breathing heavy. My beaver craft knife. It's, uh, need to sharpen it one of these days. But it's smaller, so it makes making kindling a whole lot easier, as you can see. So now that I had a chance to try out that Gerber bushcraft axe, if you're gonna ask me if you're at Cabela's and you're looking for an axe, Definitely uh, the Fisker split knacks. Even though it's not really a fair comparison because the Gerber is obviously quite a bit shorter handle. So there's more leverage, right? More leverage equals more force. But I don't know. It's hard to beat the Fisker split knacks. Even got the hatchet. Top notch. Top notch. And tonight, I'll just fold that tarp over all my goods. Oh, these Yeti mugs sure keep everything hot or cold for a while. And I sit down and join my tea. That should be my kindling for a while. To get a fire going. Just look at that gorgeous view. This is the life right here. Relaxing, fresh air. Probably like 17 degrees. Snow's melting fast. Feels good. Like I said earlier, could get up to 50 centimeters of snow next week, which won't be good. I love drinking tea when I'm out in the wilderness. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break. Then we're gonna kick back, fly the drone, check this area out. Yeah, it's more than enough wood for tonight. That's not even including the wood I brought, and there's still. I left half of the wood in there, so I probably 
definitely won't be burning this. Oh, time to relax, have a beer. This is uh, Banded Peak Brewing, Plains Breaker, Pale Ale, Unfiltered, Tropical Wheat, 5%. You cannot ask for a more beautiful day in the wilderness. Gonna let's do some podcasts now, smoke a cigar. I wonder what the views would be like in the summertime. That's the creek right there. Water be flowing. I haven't ventured out too much so I don't get my shoes wet. I think this setup's gonna be all right. I parked at least slightly a little bit of an incline. So my head is up for sure. Jeep is looking good. Just gonna relax for a few hours. Ah, oh, this feels so good. It's been so long since I've been out. It's been like a month since the last time I've been out camping. This is absolutely crazy. That wind is starting to pick up. All right, motherfucking beer time. All right, see what this one's like. Oh, that feels good. Nice, refreshing beer. <sighs> Can't wait. Should have brought my snowshoes out actually. Could have went snowshoeing. It's crazy to see so much things have melted today. I should have aired down my tires. I left them at 35 PSI. I wasn't sure if I was gonna find a spot in this area or how far down I was gonna go. I honestly don't know if I'm even gonna use the diesel heater tonight. I guess it depends on how much it cools off tonight. If it does get down at around freezing. Three quarters of a tank of diesel. One thing I did buy off Amazon is I bought these clips so I could twist getting the hose on and off easy. I think that's a pretty good setup. Get in and out nice and easy. It's in there solid. Get out of the sun for a minute. It's so bright out. 
Yeah, when I first came out today, being a Sunday, I know like a lot of people by now, it's like 4.30 are probably packed up and gone. There's probably a few stragglers, but with it being so nice out, <clears throat> there was an awful lot of people out. It was crazy. So I guess a lot of people didn't want to venture out where I am, which isn't that far at all, just to come out and do some camping. I'm glad I did. I think this will be all right. It'll be a lot easier than setting up a tent and stuff. I mean, that being said, too, my Russian tent, I have a lot more room to, like, stand up and move around in. Because if I get a leg cramp in my Jeep, which I'm prone to getting leg cramps, like, brutal leg cramps, that crippling pain, yeah, it might not end well. But right now, I gotta try it out. Gotta try it out. Uh, there's my farmer sausage still chilling in the snow. I wonder what this is gonna be taste like. Mexican chicken. I'm gonna add that sausage to it. And that's gonna be my dinner tonight. Oh yeah, it is lit. Yeah. Cook this soup on low. So, mm, not bad at all. It's got everything packed up except for what I'm going to use tomorrow morning. Just going to wait till we get satellite coverage and enter this campsite into my GPS as I'm restarting to do all that now. I don't know if Cabela's sells this model anymore. I think they've upgraded to a new one. I think it's a GPS map 65 now, I think. Perfect. Go to Mark. And I'm going to enter in my new campsite and sync it to my phone and my watch. Camp location is entered in. All right. Don't need. The back opened up anymore. Done. Quest for fire. Shut her down. Now I'm done with everything for the night. Pull the tarp over it. Put my traction pads on top. Got my shitter. Got my beer cooling in the snow. Then I have an IPA. Fire is burning good. It's gonna take a while to get a base going. There's a lot of heat coming off that. Right now it's six o'clock. Sun is still out, nice and bright. A couple months ago, it was dark at 4.30. A month ago, it was dark at 5.30. Sure glad these days are getting longer. Yeah. Shorts in the winter time. Fire's going good. Motherfucking beer time, everybody. Nice, quiet Sunday night out. I think pretty much everybody's gone home. There was a bunch of campers at the entrance. I wonder if they'll still be there tomorrow morning. But anyways, oh, this is good. Sun is setting. It is 7:34 and still light out. Gotta love it. Couple more months, 10 o'clock. It's still gonna be light out. I can't wait. Just toss that big ugly log on there to see if she'll burn throughout the night. Oh yeah, look at that sunset. Oh, it's almost ready to retire back to the 
sleep pretty soon and watch a couple of movies. All right, I'm all set up inside. I'm gonna pick a movie to watch, kick back, relax. Well, good morning, everybody. It is a gorgeous morning out. Everything is nice and frozen right now, which brings me up to another point. This time of year, especially when the snow gets slushy, gets powdery, it's really easy to get stuck. And if you're out alone or something and you're stranded, don't waste all your energy because overnight she's going to freeze up and you're going to be able to almost 100% get out for sure then. Because yesterday I couldn't walk on this stuff. And today, it's rock hard. So the big question remains, how was my sleep in the Jeep? And I'm gonna say it was absolutely fantastic. The only thing you really can't do, unless you stretch yourself out in a diagonal, is have your legs completely straight. <clears throat> There's a couple times I had to do that, but for the most part, it was comfortable. I had my cooler in there. I was in there. I don't need a lot of room to sleep. I don't like one of those people who crawl all over. I just like lay there like a lump of coal and fall asleep. But yeah, it was good. I think this is definitely going to change things. It was really awesome watching some movies on my tablet. Yeah. Sun's just starting to come up over the trees now. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but soon we're going to have some daylight come over our campsite. Just sending some messages. Pet sitter said Carmen is set for the day. Sent MJ a message, make sure that I'm okay. It's important that you keep in contact with people. That log didn't burn throughout the night. And uh, most of my stuff right now is already packed up. Didn't hardly burn any diesel fuel, which is good. Okay, let's get our coffee going first thing. Got my little fire maple stove here. I remember where the ignition switch is. All right, it's on the side. There we go. Got some kicking horse coffee, horsepower, 454. Got my Smokies right here. Yeah, this is where a tailgate table is awesome. That's one less thing I need to carry because I could do most of my cooking right on the back here. Get my coffee brewed up. Have my morning dump, and I can finish packing up and get out of here. Sun is starting to shine down into the valley. You can see coming on top of the trees there. This water should be boiling soon. Now we're boiling. Sit like that for a minute or two. All right, morning coffee brew. That hits the spot. Beautiful day in the wilderness. Just getting ready to roll out. As you can see, leave no trace behind. Except for my coffee grinds right there, which are compostable. Otherwise, campsite is left clean.
at the forestry trunk road just gonna go a quick once over now that I'm out of the bush make sure everything's buttoned down my water is frozen so I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure once it gets nicer out and the snow melts I'll be able to do a lot more things like go hiking in the woods and stuff but uh, definitely enjoying the new setup so I'll talk to you guys later have a great day